Our market, market monitor this evening says concerns about the economy and the market has him sticking with high-quality defensive stocks. He is Michael Farr, president of Farr, Miller & Washington. Good to see you again, Michael. Welcome back. Thank you, Sue. Great to be here. So you're a little worried. What is it primarily that has you worried? We just got a good jobs number or a relatively good jobs number. Sue, I manage other people's money, so I'm always worried. We've known each other for a long time. Right. I'm the guy who worries. Uh, I, I think that stock prices are fully valued. I think they're rather high. Margins are very high, uh, meaning that they're about 50 percent higher than their average mean mm -hmm. level for profit margins for the S&P. So I think stocks are, are, are kind of expensive. Most of the run-up that we've seen came from multiple expansion, not so much from earnings growth. So while I think the economy is recovering, I am encouraged by all of the positive things I'm seeing. I, I'm just cautious out there with my money, and I pr prefer more solid balance sheets, more experienced management, and international exposure in the stocks that we're buying. All right, Michael, if I'm lucky, I'm going to get a tax return here, a yeah, refund here in the next few weeks. Tell me where to put that money. Give me a couple of names here. I know you like defensives. Well, I like defensive, and I'm not recommending to buy or sell. These are names that I may ho that I do hold. Uh, I like Johnson and Johnson. I've liked it for years. The company is at 16 times earnings. Uh, they, for the last 10 years, have increased earnings at a compounded rate of 10 percent, with a 2.9 percent dividend. I think that this is a great solid holding with a triple A balance sheet. The United States doesn't have one. <laughs> That's a very good point. Abbott Labs is also it's a on sad your list. Point. Yes, it is a sad <laughs> point. That's very true, Michael. Abbott yeah. Labs. A Abbott Labs is a diversified, again, healthcare company. So, two in healthcare, and healthcare is doing well. 40 percent exposure to emerging markets. They've got a neat nutritional business. It's a little more expensive, about 18 times next year's earnings. Again, not cheap. 2.2 percent dividend. I think we could see earnings growth here of about 10 percent. You add the dividend, I've got a 12 percent return. I think, again, from a very strong, strong company with diagnostics and devices, too. And my favorite company name to pronounce is Schlumberger. God, and you do it so well. <laughs> oh, you can laugh in French now, you know. 16 <laughs> times earnings. <laughs> I'll stop. Uh, I think that earnings here have been underpriced. They're really poised now to do very well. They have great exposure to all oil and gas exploration. So 16 times earnings. I think earnings could end up almost uh, well into the mid teens here, I look for, I think we could get 14, 15 percent in terms of return wow. from Schlumberger, but to healthcare and an energy company, if you want to play it a little safe with that tax return money, tie, I would like these three stocks. You know, how important is the management team at companies that you invest in, Michael? I know you want a solid balance sheet. I know you want a fair amount of cash. You look at the dividend yield. But at the end of the day, management still has to be able to execute has to be able to execute, Sue, and you want to take a look not only at the — we take a look at 10 trailing years of earnings and profit and loss and income statements, and we, we track all the numbers. But we also track what management has said about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. You look at a company like Corning years ago when they were making dishes and pots. That was a company that was a great company with that, that, that had great assets, but Pretty much it was old hat. To turn that company into a fiber optic cable producer and wire and line and technology company took fabulous management. It was in place for a while. We like strong management. Strong management can help a great company through tough times. And I know, Michael, you mentioned this before, but you own the stocks that you recommended earlier? I own all of the stocks that I recommended. My family owns them and our clients own them. We might be selling them at any time, just as a disclaimer, but I don't like to sell very much. Our turnover last year was somewhere around 15 percent. So we really do hold stocks for a long time. I'm an old school kind of investor. All right, Michael, good to see you as always. Michael nice to see you both. Thanks for having me. Michael Farr, president of Farr Miller and Washington.